JavaScript. Where does it fit in web design? Let's start with where it began. Originally, it was called LiveScript, and it was created by the group that created Netscape Navigator. This was back during the browser wars in the mid to late 90s. It's not related to Java, but Java was the new big up and coming thing at that time. It was very popular and it was getting a lot of buzz in the industry. To cash in on the Java name, Netscape licensed the name from Sun to try and help increase the popularity of JavaScript. While Java still exists and is widely used, I would guess that JavaScript probably is even more widely used than Java at this point. The major difference between them, though they're both loosely based on C++ and use the same curly bracket syntax, is that Java is a full object-oriented language that can run complete programs independently on their own. JavaScript is part of an HTML page. It's written inside of the HTML code and it is considered a server-side scripting language, which I'm sorry, a client-side scripting language, which means that any processing is actually done on the client's computer from within the browser. It is very widely used. It would be hard to have an interactive website without it. It's part of AJAX, which is Asynchronous JavaScript and XML, and it fits in the web to put together a bunch of different technologies. The technologies that it works with are HTML, which contains the content of a web page. As you've seen from the work that we've done, that could be images, bulleted lists, text, various things like that. CSS is supposed to handle the design, the fonts, the colors, the page layout. You also have the document object model, which is for dynamic display and interaction with data. XML, which is a data definition language used for passing data to other applications. And then JavaScript ties all of these things together. One example would be in a web-based form. JavaScript can validate and make sure that if you have an email form or an email field, it can check to see basic things like there's an at sign, there's a something.com or .edu. It checks for basic formatting. And it does that without having to send that information back to the server. It happens on the client side, decreasing network traffic and making pages run faster. That's just one of the many things JavaScript can do. What can it do? It's a simple, lightweight programming language. It allows programmers to um, have it respond to events to add interactivity. The most common event you would see JavaScript working with is the mouse over. For example, if you had buttons that changed images when your mouse goes over them, that is typically done using JavaScript. You can use it to manipulate HTML elements and it can validate form data. It can detect browsers and redirect to a new page and it can create cookies, which are small text files that are saved in a special folder on your computer. Cookies allow your web browsing experience to be more personalized because they save information when you visit a website and when you return to it, the server that left them on your computer can read them and so it can bring you back to where you left off or suggest recommended items for you to buy. So it makes a more personal experience when you're browsing the internet.